Hello everyone, welcome to Infigyan. In this video, we are going to solve one factorial equation. Equation is n cube minus 10n equal to n factorial. We will solve this problem using recursive formula for factorial notation and we will see the algebraic manipulations. So let's get started. I will write this factorial equation as n factorial b equal to n cube minus 10n. Just swap bit sides. Now, what is recursive formula? We can write any time n times n minus 1 factorial. So, I will write n times n minus 1 factorial that will be equal to n cube minus 10n. Or in other words, I will take n common, then it will be n square minus 10. Left hand side, you are having n n minus 1 factorial. Now we can cancel 1n from both the sides. So equation will convert into n minus 1 factorial is equal to n square minus 10. Now I am going to substitute. So let's y equal to n minus 1. So if y equal to n minus 1, then we can find out n also. So n would be equal to y plus 1. Okay, now put here. So n minus 1 factorial will become y factorial equal to n square. So, y plus 1 whole square minus 10. Now, open this square. We know that a plus b whole square. This is algebraic identity. a square plus b square plus twice ab. So, let's write y square plus twice y plus 1 minus 10. This is equal to y factorial. Now y factorial will be equal to y square plus 2y minus 9. This equation is very very important equation. We will put this equation number 1. Okay. Let's apply recursive formula once more. So, equation will be y times y minus 1 factorial equal to y square plus 2y minus 9. Now, divide both sides by y. So, once I will divide both sides by y, then it will be y minus 1 factorial equal to y plus 2 minus 9 over y. This is our equation y minus 1 factorial equal to y plus 2 minus 9 over y. Let me write here y minus 1 factorial equal to y plus 2 minus 9 over y. Now from this equation we will conclude two points. First point is because of our left hand side is always integer. As we know because of it is having factorial so that would be always integer. So right side should be also integer and second important thing it should be positive integer because left hand side is factorial function so right hand side must be positive function that value would be always positive so from here i will write y plus 2 should be greater than 9 over y this is first point i will conclude from here and second point which i will conclude because of left and right side it is nothing but the addition of integers so y must have the common factor with 9 so, y may have value 
वन थ्री एंड नाइन वाई मे बी पॉसिबल बिकॉज नाइन ओवर वाई मस्ट बी इंटीजर सो नाइन ओवर वाई सो वॉट आई विल पुट वाई वैल्यू दैट इज वन देन इट नाइन ओवर वाई वुड बी इंटीजर नाइन इफ आई एम पुटिंग थ्री देन इट वुड बी इंटीजर थ्री इफ आई एम पुटिंग वाई इक्वल टू नाइन देन नाइन ओवर वाई विल बी इक्वल टू वन विच इज इंटीजर सो पॉसिबल कैंडिडेचर फॉर पॉसिबल वैल्यूज फॉर वाई विल बी वन थ्री एंड नाइन नो फ्रॉम इक्वेशन वन multiply both sides by y so it will be y square plus 2y greater than 9 y square plus 2y is minus 9 is greater than 0 let's apply quadratic formula minus b so minus 2 plus minus a square root b square So four minus four AC. So minus times minus plus thirty six over two. So it will be minus two plus minus square root forty over two, which we can write minus two plus minus ten times four. So two root ten over two. From here I will conclude minus one. Plus minus root ten square root ten. That is our y. Now y cannot be negative, so there are two values. Let me write minus one plus square root ten and minus one minus square root ten. So which value I will reject? That is negative. It is not possible. so we will reject this one this value we will accept okay so what is the value so minus 1 it will be 3.18 or 3.2 let me write the square root 9 is 3 so it would be 3.18 or 3.15 3.2 i am writing so that value will be 2.2 so that means y must be greater than c it is inequality greater than so y must be greater than 2.2 that means y will be 3 and 9 it is possible to consider 3 or 9 now we have to check for which value is correct whether 3 or 9 okay so 1 will be rejected from the list okay now i have to check for the value of 3 and 9 so let me put y equal to 3 So y equal to three, then three minus one factorial equal to three plus two minus nine over three. So it will be five minus three. So two. Right hand side is two. Left hand side is two factorial. That means two, which is true. You want to check for nine. Then you can check eight factorial. Obviously. Eight factorial is very big number. Nine plus two minus one. Nine over nine is one. So eleven minus one that is ten, which is not equal to eight factorial. So that value will be rejected. So y equal to nine is the correct value. So what is our x? Let's write. X minus one equal to y. This was our presumption means consideration. So x will be equal to y plus one. So y is three. So x equal to four. Okay. So y equal to three means x is equal to four is our solution. Now you can verify from the given equation. See this is your factorial equation. Now let's put here. Okay. Let me write x or n. It was our consideration. N equal to four. So let's put here. So 
सो दैट वैल्यू विल बी फोर क्यू माइनस टेन इंटू फोर इक्वल टू फोर फैक्टोरियल सिक्सटी फोर माइनस फोर्टी फोर फैक्टोरियल इज फोर टाइम्स थ्री ट्वेल्व ट्वेल्व टाइम्स टू ट्वेंटी फोर सो यस ट्वेंटी फोर इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी फोर हेंस वेरीफाइड ओके our consideration was n minus 1 equal to y so this is our n value not x in this problem it was n so this is how we will find out the true value the correct value in case of factorial equation i hope you like this video thank you so much for watching please give like impression and don't forget to subscribe